The billet, stainless steel Faxon 1022 bolt in a black nitride finish is kind of a blend between the Volkortsen and Kid bolt. The finish reminds me of the elegant DLC coated Volkortsen offering. It also features a round firing pin like the Volkortsen offering, but the Volkortsen interfaces with its recoil spring in a different way than most other 1022 bolts. Nitride versus DLC, nitride actually improves the substrate of the part being treated, but both are durable with high lubricity. See Shadow Systems Firearm Finishes and Coating presentation, link in the description. The Faxon bolt, like the Kid bolt, has a chamfered charging handle lugs, which eases reassembly link up with the charging handle. Some people chamfer their stock bolts. The Faxon and Kid both use the Ruger style connection with the charging handle. I know many who like to run extended charging handles. I prefer Ruger's low profile finger hook. Maybe Faxon could make a nitride coated low profile charging handle. The Faxon boat has very satisfying machining and all edges are attenuated just enough to civilize things a bit. Polished smooth surfaces stand in stark contrast to the stock Ruger bolt. You cannot remove the Faxon bolt without first removing the buffer pin. Just like every other 1020 bolt and receiver I've seen, except for the Bear Creek BC201, otherwise I would not even mention it. The Faxon Bolt's round firing pin is not replaceable and would require purchasing a new bolt. At least that's the word from Faxon customer service. Both Quartzen and Kid both have firing pin replacement options. I drove out the retaining roll pin and found the firing pin channel absolutely clear of any kind of debris. Cleaned out the factory preservative and applied Sentry Tough Glide. I recorded some measurements and will post them to the Rimfire Known Distance Project webpage. I searched brown ales and numerich for firing pin candidates and did not find anything similar. Given that the firing pin is likely to last for hundreds of thousands of rounds, maybe replacements are not a big deal. I did not remove the extractor, but it looks like it is standard Ruger dimensions. After 200 rounds, this is what the bolt looks like. Still looking great. The bolt cycles smoothly and reliably inside the Faxon FF22 receiver. It appears to mate up well with the barrel and it just looks cool doing its job. You could buy two Faxon bolts for the price of one Volkortsen or save about $50 over the kid. All terrific bolts, but if Faxon makes spare firing pins available for their offering, I might claim a slight preference for it.